Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Boric. You can follow me, as it says below, at JJBoric26 on Twitter. This is the Monday Night Football pregame. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let us know what you want in future videos. We got a doubleheader tonight on Monday Night Football, Chiefs and Bills and Cardinals and Cowboys. This is going to be a good night on Monday Night Football. Obviously, I try to look for some positives in a year of COVID battling this pandemic, and one has been, unfortunately, because of the pandemic, it's led to a couple Monday night double headers. But those are nice, I think, for a lot of us uh, people, because for a lot of people, you're getting back from work around that time. You get to watch a game as soon as you come back, and then you get to watch another follow-up game right after. Um, just for people that don't know, Chiefs and Bills is on Fox at 5 p.m. Eastern, and Cardinals and Cowboys is on ESPN as the normal Monday night football game at 8.15 Eastern time. Um, this is going to be a great night of football, especially in the Chiefs and Bills. I mean, what a game. A battle of 4-1 and one team, two quarterbacks that are some of the hottest in the league right now. You got Allen, who has 1,589 yards. And then you got Mahomes, who has 1,474 yards, 13 touchdowns to a pick. Allen has 14 touchdowns to three picks, having by far his best season. Allen, when he came into the league, you knew he had a cannon, and you knew he was athletic as hell. It was the only question pertaining to him was, can he get that accuracy going other than just throwing on the run? Can he make those special plays that we've seen the Mahomes make prior to injuries, the uh, Carson Wentz's of the world that we still see at times now? those guys make and Aaron Rodgers, etc. And we've seen that this year. So this is a battle of two of the hottest quarterbacks, the two guys that are up there in the MVP race right now, going against each other. It's also a battle of two good young running backs. Clyde Edwards Hilaire is one of my favorite uh, dynamic players in football to watch already when the Chiefs drafted him. On draft night, they were even talking about how dangerous he could be in the Chiefs offense. And that has shown up. He has 344 yards already on the ground with a touchdown, and Singletary is a solid back of his own with 236 yards, or 38 already, excuse me, with a touchdown. Then Stefan Diggs is over 500 yards and two touchdowns in the season, and he's been a very good pickup, been doing very good with Josh Allen. Him and that Di Allen and Diggs connection has been very good. They've been digging it. Uh, so they've been doing a very good job there. And Travis Kelsey just continues to be great. Whenever that dude's on the field, he's going to dominate and he's going to do some stuff. Uh, this game is way too close to call. I can comment on this game because we did not give it out as a pick to our Patreons, which if you go on BPAL Picks Patreon, that's where Pirlo, a.k.a. Steve Duncan, or Pirlo Wisdom as his acronym, that me and him do our picks on Patreon. So please check us out over there as well. We really appreciate that. And let us know what you want to see in future NFL videos. I'm willing to talk about anything about any sports you want me to talk about. Just comment what you want to hear and discuss. And please tell your friends so we get this channel up. I want to try to get up to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. We're in the mid-70s right now. So uh, it will be awesome to be able to get up to the 100 by the end of the year. But this game I can comment on because we don't have it there. I would lean just because of how good their team is and always can figure it out and has been there, done that, um, obviously coming off as Super Bowl champions. I would lean the Chiefs just because they're not raw. They're not a team that just figured out how to win and be one of the best of the best in the a AFL um, or in the AFC, excuse me, not the AFL, <laughs> not the Arena Football League that's been defunct for a couple years, the AFC. Uh, the Bills are just learning to be one of the powerhouse teams of the AFC. The Chiefs have been that, so I'm going to lean the Chiefs, but I think this game has a chance to be within a field goal game, a touchdown game at most. I don't think by any stretch of the imagination this game is going to be a large margin game. I think it has a chance to be one of the best games of the season, hands down. And then in the next game... Uh, we unfortunately are not going to get to see the battle of two good quarterbacks that compare to each other in certain ways they play. Obviously, Kyler can run a heck of a lot more, who has almost 1,300 yards with eight touchdowns this year passing already, but he has to bring his picks down. He does have eight touchdowns and six inter interceptions. Excuse me. That's the one thing with Kyler Murray's game. He has to bring down Dak prior to getting injured at nine with four interceptions. 
and almost 2,000 yards on the season. Um, Prescott was having a solid season. The Cowboys, like, he was actually doing decent each week. The Cowboys just stink and haven't been able to figure out a way to win, just like the rest of the NFC East. I mean, I'm a uh, Eagles fan, and they stink also. I mean, the, the this division just can't figure out a way to win and put out a productive football team, it seems, this season. But I would have liked seeing the battle of Prescott and Murray. Those are two good quarterbacks that can pair in some aspects, smaller guys that have very good uh, ability to um, move around the pocket when need be, especially Kyler Murray, and can also control the games with his legs. I think he's going to be able to do that. I think you're going to see some more POs and some good runs by Kyler Murray to throw Dallas off because Dallas, as we know, does not have a very good defense. So I do, I cannot um, tell you who I think is going to win this game. Now, because it's in Dallas... Uh, and Andy Dalton's in, and maybe that him coming back, showing that he wants to prove something and spark, is there a chance of an upset? I'll give you that short. I'm not going to tell you I think it's going to win the game, though, but because when you get your backup coming in, especially when your backup has been a career starter that actually has been a good stats compiler, a guy that's had some very solid seasons under his belt in the past, and Andy Dalton has at least a league average quarterback in some years above league average statistically, so, I think there's a chance, since they're the home team, of there being an upset. That's all I would say, though. For the pick that we had, again, please check it out over at BPAL Pick. This is going to be another great game, though. We had to see Kenyon Drake, who's a pretty underrated back, in my opinion, against Ezekiel Elliott. And then we get to see DeAndre Hopkins against youngster CeeDee Lamb. You got Cooper in this game as well. Then you got Larry Fitz, obviously, who's been out there doing his thing for years now. Uh, Christian Kirk, who doesn't get thrown enough to. Uh, but... Um, this is just a game of a lot of good, uh, um, talented uh, offensive players on each side. That's why it's a wonder why the Cowboys are only two and three. But if they're able to upset, they would be three and three, and then the Cardinals will be on their way to being able to get something churning here if they're able to win this game because they'll be four and two and then just being able to keep building off of that. But this has just been a quick Monday Night Football pregame. Let me know in the comments section what you guys think is going to happen in tonight's ball game, and also how you think these games are going to be. I think there's going to be one fantastic game, potentially a game of the year, between the Chiefs and Bills. And then there's going to be a pretty good game, especially because it's in Dallas, between the Cardinals and Dallas. Everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant night. This has been Sports Fanatic News, Monday Night Football pregame show. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Joe Boric. Peace out, everybody.